Hey guys, this is Harjit here. I hope you're enjoying different videos on my channel. I'm back with one more video. This video is going to be about Spark Tungsten project. Okay, so Spark Tungsten was a great initiative, you know, uh, in Spark 1.x, you know, specifically after Spark 1.4. Uh, this initiative was started to improve, uh, you know, uh, how spark uses uh, cpus it it was in uh, use it, 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 the main motive was to uh, bring spark more closer to hardware so that uh, it can generate more hardware specific code and uh, 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 and it can run your uh, applications more faster so uh, the focus was on better memory utilization and better hardware utilization uh, from CPU point of view. Uh, so basically it focused on three things, uh, better memory management, cache aware computations, and uh, automatic code generation. So let us understand what these things are. Okay, so Spark is uh, built using Scala, which uses uh, JVM to run everything. Uh, you know, we all are aware about uh, garbage collection in uh, uh, G, uh, you know java so that used to cause a lot of issue with spark so there uh, it used to cause a lot of uh, uh, memory overhead the way you know uh, data is stored by java you know to store a uh, very small data of uh, small string of four bytes you will probably need 16 byte or 32 bytes of uh, storage uh, java does it to make it more generic to handle more scenarios but uh, uh, you know in case of spark it was a big overhead because in spark you are dealing with huge amount of data if you you know if you have billions of records and uh, uh, you know for every record you are using a lot of memory like you know uh, huge amount of memory uh, then it's, it's really bad so uh, you would like to reduce your memory footprint to optimize your job right to use your resources to maximum so uh, they wanted to spark guys wanted to reduce the memory overhead uh, the memory consumption that uh, was happening because of jvm and uh, they also wanted to reduce uh, uh, you know the garbage collection cycles which were a uh, lot of time unnecessary in context of spark so they wanted to manage the creation and uh, uh, you know uh, creation and uh, destroy of object by themselves so how did they solve it? Uh, so in Spark, uh, in Tungsten project, they started to use something called unset area uh, in uh, in JVM. So what exactly happens is that uh, you have a heap in JVM in which your all objects are created traditionally by JVM. Uh, in uh, you can create, you can allocate some extra memory which is out of heap to your JVM uh, and. Uh, in that out of heap memory, uh, you can start creating your object and start destroying your object. So all the shuffle operations that you see, uh, you know, all the executors, whenever they are sharing data with other machines, they now use uh, this off heap memory, this uh, uh, unsafe memory. That off heap memory is called unsafe memory. So in that area, all the objects are serialized and deserialized. Uh, all the objects are created and destroyed. Uh, it is very memory efficient, uh, you know, uh, it, it gives you like a C language kind of uh, alloc, calloc, malloc kind of a control. You can allocate specific memory and release specific memory and uh, you can make it very optimal. It gives you a great control. It gives the developer a great control. So, and you do not have GC overhead, garbage collection overhead, you know, garbage uh, collector running again and again to uh, look into how to clean the memory. Uh, you don't have that kind of issues. Project Tungsten has made uh, Spark more cache aware. So there are new algorithm written uh, in as part of Project Tungsten which uh, are more cache friendly. Uh, they know how to use uh, uh, cache more effectively. Uh, you know there are better strategies written to uh, uh, you know to uh, which which are focused on retention of uh, data in cache uh, for how much time the data should be retained in cache and when it should be replaced and uh, uh, there are better data structure return 
to exploit uh, the maximum capacity of cache so that you know maximum data can be stored into cache so uh, you know it was done because it was ob observed during uh, you know uh, benchmarking of spark that uh, spark was spending a lot of time uh, waiting uh, uh, you know data being read from ram to cpu registers for any processing so that's why they said that okay they need to focus on uh, exploiting cache more so that uh, you know their their algos and data structure should be more cache friendly so that they can uh, uh, better utilize the cache okay other is uh, code generation you know uh, you can write uh, sql statements in spark uh, and uh, you know that uh, in those sql select statements you can mention expressions uh, you can also mention lambda expressions in uh, uh you know uh in in if you're defining udf and if you're defining uh, you know uh, in lambda function is python uh then uh, those expressions can be understood and uh, you know at runtime uh, uh, a very efficient code can be generated by uh, project tungsten for you uh, so this makes uh, uh you know uh, things very fast so th uh, this particular feature is actually uh, adopted by Spark from uh, Scala language. Uh, so Scala has something called Quasi Code uh, named feature, uh, which uh, helps you pass expressions and generate uh, code out of that. And uh, that's what uh, has been leveraged in Spark. And uh, uh, you know this has made uh, uh, it it possible to uh, make a very powerful thing like Spark SQL has become more powerful with that. So. Uh, your intermediate data, you know, uh, can be stored in CPU registers uh, instead of sending back to uh, RAM. That is one more optimization that is done as part of uh, uh, project tungsten. Uh, and product, project tungsten has also enabled uh, creating uh, CPU specific uh, SIMD instructions so that your looping operations and uh, your vectorized operations can be optimized and can be run lot more faster so project tungsten was a project uh, which has uh, tried to focus on all the kind of optimization that should be uh, 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 you know uh, exploiting uh, cpu that should be using cpu to maximum level so that was the focus on uh, project tungsten i hope this video was useful for you guys uh, if you have any question please post it in the comment section. I'll be very happy to answer them. Thanks for watching this video.